Welcome to Watt Corner with Guido 1212. Got an analysis of a Pilsen battle in my LTTB. In this battle, I'm going to show you how to work the lower factories on Pilsen, where you can, in fact, be decisive and important to the battle, even in a scout or a medium. Most people just send their heavies down there and then head out to the field with their mediums and lights. But I'm going to show you how a light can, in fact, make a difference. If you look at the setup, we give up quite a bit of weight up top based on the heavies that they've got, although our mediums are very good players. So I'm expecting more of a swarming battle. With a light setup like we have, we need to get in there and knock them back on their heels to make this thing work. If we sit back and try to make a battle of attrition out of it, more than likely those heavies are going to grind us down. So immediately I'm going to go ahead and hand it, head into... Head into the factories. I'll show you what I am looking at or what I'm doing with my camera. So the first thing I'll do is I'll head down into the factory. What I'm looking to do since I'm trying to get a swarming idea here is to get a quick look on what is coming in here. I'm going to move up into this corner and I'm looking for a free shot on whatever comes around that corner. Back out. A little free damage. Get out as soon as possible. Get a little SA on what's coming in. What you're going to see here is somebody jam themselves in front of me. You can see the T49 move in and now I can't see anything on that corner. So I have two choices. I can move forward more so that I can actually see that corner. What that's going to do is expose more of my tank. If someone comes around the corner, the T49 backs up, that's going to leave me there exposed and I'll, I will probably take the hit even if they're shooting at the T49. So I'm going to look at that for a second and say, nope, not staying here. He can do that. I'll go somewhere else. I'm going to make a bit of a dangerous move. I'm crossing over on this lane right here. You'll see that there's actually an 8.8 .8 down there. I'm lucky I didn't take a hit. I was thinking about repositioning up towards the top and then realized we actually sent nobody up there. And that's fine. We have nobody in the east. We're moving more of a swarming kind of battle. And this is more or less exactly what I figured we needed to do to win. That's pretty good. An 8.8 .8 died back there. All of our tanks are down low just about. And pretty soon here as this AT-15 moves up, what I'm hoping is that he's going to show me that 8.8. .8. Maybe the 8.8 .8 shoots at him and I get a shot, but then I know it right there. The 8.8 has moved away. Now it's time to get in there. I can see that our forces are moving forward. We're starting to swarm. Look over to the east. They've got a bunch of their heavies up there doing more or less nothing. Yeah, the E-75s come around the corner, but he is only dealing with an IS-3. And now I come around on the 8.8. .8. Pretty typical, there's some guys on the back side of that upper factory. I'm going to take a couple shots on 8.8 .8 and move away because I don't want to get shot by the low or the M103. So I'm going to come around this way, see if there's anything back here. I'm looking at what's left on their team. There's only two tanks unspotted, so I take a chance to come around the corner. I'm actually going to auto-aim this shot, take him out, and now I'm going to move up. Now I'm spotted, so is the T-49. Probably a bit of luck right there. The T-49 just got blasted by the Crusader SP. Fortunately, I end up living through that. And I'm going to go ahead and start hitting these tanks in the flank. Hit the low. Checking to see where their other tanks are that aren't spotted yet. Trying to see if I can also find the Crusader. He's not over there. I'm going to keep on working on this guy. The miss. Pretty quickly, I'm going to notice the low is not looking at me. If you look at that right now. The Lowe's turret has turned away from me, so I'm going to come up in here and take a shot on the side of the 103. And now I'm just harassing and harrying these two. There goes the low. Get one more shot on the 103. And pretty quickly I'm going to move forward. I know the 103 is now scared of the guys pushing on. He's actually gone around the corner, so I'm going to take a chance. Reposition here for a new angle. This angle will also have the benefit of protecting me from the Crusader SP. There's a pretty good player. Some shots in the 103. He's kind of busy. He got a shot on his side. He's gone around the corner, so I don't have to worry about him. We'll zoom in, take out this T49. And now they're surrounded. So we have swarmed through the lower factories. We held just enough on the other side. And in fact, some guys have flexed back, so nice flexing with the team. I'm going to get slapped by the T49. Does a nice job there, but he's on a reload. So here I come. I'm just going to auto aim him, take some shots, slow down. I didn't want to go zooming in there right away until I figured out if I had any buddies with me, but the 4202 seemed to be busy. I'm going to pop this guy a couple times, and then you'll see that someone will come around on him. 
I get him there, and now we've got the 4202, and this is well in hand. So we've swarmed, like I said, down lower, came around behind him. We had players smart enough to actually go back, and we start to clean this up. I see the E75 right there. Got to kind of slow down. I was about to hit the building. I actually end up auto-aiming here. I probably wish I hadn't. Take a nice aim shot. I may have actually penetrated like I'd be on this one. And while that's still auto-aim, I slowed down so the reticle started to settle. I leave the E75. I don't want him to turn around and just blap me. These guys are really busy with the tanks coming at them in front of them, so they're not paying attention to me. So I'm just going where the damage is freer. The E75 dies because I knew all those tanks were coming around anyway, and we end up cleaning those guys up. So we had a pretty good team. I'm not saying what I did absolutely turned the battle, but it is a good example of a scout being able to harass and harry. And on a setup like that where you're light and you're counting on a swarming attack, instead of going out in the field over in the east and sort of jumping in a bush or trying to spot and all that garbage, go with the rest of the tanks, get in there, get in between everybody, and start creating havoc in there. All right, take it easy, guys.